What's the deal, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Honey. Hey, everybody. Notice anything different? <laughs> okay, so if you guys are following me at all, you know that I am trying to do a video a day for the month of December. This is December 2nd, and this is our second uh, video, okay? Um... So I really, really want to um, spend this time doing videos, um, expressing myself, and hopefully giving you guys an opportunity to get to know me a little better, um, because that's important to me that you kind of understand who I am in that way. You can become one with my quirky personality, okay? I think... Um, I want to do a wine of the week. I love wine. You guys have seen me take little sips here and there in my videos. Um, my favorite uh, wines are reds, more specifically red blends. I love a good red blend. And so I went to my favorite um, package store today and I have to tell you guys a funny story about my trip to the package store today um, but first I want to introduce you to um, the Apothic series okay this uh, particular um, blend is called Apothic Inferno and it is um, a red blend that has been aged in a whiskey barrel it has one of the highest alcohol contents of um, higher than most wines. Okay, um, as you can see there, it's 15.9% by volume. And um, let's put our spectators on, shall we? Should we put our spectators on? Should we do it? I think we should. Um, let's see here. It's a small batch, limited release. Um, it is, uh, the application is California. The um, beverage type is red blend. It is a vintage 2014. Um, it says a new blend emerges from the flames of a time-honored craft, creating a most unexpected a masterful encounter. Yes. This small batch wine has been aged for 60 days in whiskey barrels. I'm so excited. Are you getting excited, children? You should be. Let's do this. Red and dark fruit flavors combined with layers of maple and spice giving way to a long, clean, finish. Now, <clears throat> you guys can check out all of the Apothic wines. I'm a Apothic wine fan, although I've never had this one, so we're going to be experiencing this together at www.apothic.com, and I will put a link below. Um, yeah, now let me tell you, I've had Apothic Dark, Dark Horse, um, just your standard apothic. I've had just about all the apothics, um, but this one I have not had. So um, I'm not going to tilt it for you be right now because I've opened it to let it breathe um, before pouring a glass. So let's do it together. Now, right off. You know, it has a little drag. I call it drag. I don't know what the, the official wine term for it is, but I call it drag. Um, 
And what drag is for me is sort of a coating of the glass. It's not thick or anything like that, but it's not all loosey-goosey either. It's not watery. It's a really good, um, I want you guys to see that. Oh, well, take your fingers away and then people will be able to see. Okay, what a pretty label. Pretty, pretty label. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, I smell that aged barrel. I smell it. It's got a real vapory, I mean a thick vapor. I can sort of taste the wine almost on top of that vapor. Mm. Yeah. It wants something. What does it want? It 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 wants beef. I think it wants a little carpaccio. Huh? Little Kobe? What does it want? Oh, it wants beef. It wants beef. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy. It's woodsy. It, it wants salmon. Uh, a cedar wood salmon. It, it, it wants it. it. It wants to be with it. Surf and turf. I don't even care about the sticker on the bottom of my glass. Let me just tell y'all this. It is so bold. It's so bold. It's 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 mature. It's a very savvy wine. I, I can taste the barrel. It's not, it, 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 it tastes age. There's a, a level of spice that stays right on top of your palate. It's, 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 it, it. it It's, it's not contemporary. It's not whimsical. It's very, very serious. It's stoic. It's, um, <clears throat> Listen, <clears throat> this wine washes over the back of your tongue. You know, it's it's it sort of blankets it. It's it stays in your palate. It's not <clears throat> a wine that you can toss back. It's a little peppery. It's a little peppery.
but still sweet. It's got some berries, some some deep fruit undertones, like some blackberries or some really deep red cherry. I mean, the, the, the flavor profile, the fruit flavor profile is really deep. It's very, I think it's the barrel. It's the barrel that makes this wine so beautiful. This wine <clears throat> wants a delicious steak or beautiful piece of salmon. Uh, it wants hearty, robust, savory tones. It, 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 it wants jazz playing in the background. It wants a, a lovely cigar, uh, um, something with peppery, uh, a smoke palette. This is a good wine. This this is a good wine. Listen, I am here in the country, so wines are a little bit more pricey than they would be back in Atlanta where I'm from. Typically, a um, really, really good red blend from Apothic um, would cost me $7.99, $8.99, $9.99, $9 and it's really, really good wine. So I don't want you guys to get stuck on price point. I paid $16, I think $95 for this bottle, and it's worth every penny of it. Um, this is a limited release, so I'm going to go back and get a couple more bottles. This is something I want to have through the winter. You guys, I can feel it. This is a good wine. It is just right in the back of my palate, just right in the back there. It's not aggressive. It's not taking over. I don't want a glass of water. I want to continue to swallow and just kind of feel the hints and the tones of this wine. It's it's beautifully complex. Um, I think that barrel has... Uh, created something really special in this wine. Um, this would be a great gift for someone who likes red wine. I will give it two thumbs up. And um, on the honeybee scale, I'm going to give her one to five honeybees. I'm going to give it a four and a half honeybee. I, I have to say, this is a really, really good bottle of wine. Okay, if you like red blends, if you like red wine, if you like a very, very um, complex, mature, um, uh, smooth, big daddy, very white type feeling to your Friday night, this is the wine you want to have. Okay, all right. Um, Quickly, let me tell you my story. So I, I've gone into this package store before and um, I've bought wines before, two other wines. Um, I usually get two bottles, comparison bottles, and um, go back in, talk to the guy, real nice guys, old, older guys, southern gentlemen. And he's working on something. And I says, what are you making over there? And he says, I'm making uh, fishing lures. I was like, oh, I thought it was jewelry because it was silver. And he said, oh, I make jewelry too. I thought he was kidding, but he wasn't. And uh, so he gave me these earrings that he made. Isn't that funny? It turns out he was a professional fisherman for many, many years. And um, now he owns this package store, which is a very, very popular package store. And it has some really, really good wines. I, and, um, you know, he makes fishing lures. And he does children's parties, you know, where he teaches them how to make really, really fun jewelry and lures and stuff. And they all get a little gift to take with them. And I thought to myself, you know what? You can never, ever box people in like wine. You can never, ever make an assumption about a good bottle of wine by price point and you can never ever make an assumption 
about another human being just um, at looking at them. We are all complex and bold and special in our own way. And uh, that's it for me, guys, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, wine of the week, Apothic Inferno. Go out and get you a bottle and tell me what you think. Okay, until next time, honey peas. I'll holler. Yes.